Today is a big day for Witchfire. Let's talk about this. First and foremost, we need to establish what Witchfire is. Yeah, it's kind of blend of many things together and it kind of make a lot of sense. It's FPS where you playing as a prayer and you equipping yourself with the weapons and spells and you're slinging those against the witches and their minions and you'll try to kill them all. And yeah, you blend this FPS first person shooter with something like Dark Souls, where you will be collecting souls to upgrade yourself, right? But when you die, those souls will stay on the ground and you will need to return for them. So that's kind of interesting, right? And the, another layer on upon that is the roguelite. So you will be uh, getting better over time. You will invest your into the guns and spells. You will upgrade them. You will upgrade yourself, your stats. You will just get better and not by the play better, but even the stats and you will get stronger and last but not least it's an extraction game so so if you play Tarkov for something like that it's a kind of similar thing but you are not going against other players you are it's a single player experience where you jump into the map you slang those enemies you're trying to get the loot and if you collect everything and then you fail to extract yeah, you lose kind of everything. So you will have to go back and kill some more. So that's kind of what Witchfire is right now. And it's early access. It's about a year that the, the, the game is in early access. Or it, at least it will be in three months or something like that. And why I am telling you that this is the big day for Witchfire. And I think it's because there is a release. The global release of, of the Witchfire on Steam. So for now, you can play it only on Epic Game Store, right? but now it will be translated and, and transferred to the Steam as well. So for the new players, maybe there will be a lot of people, a lot of you who never thought and no, never heard about this game and now is the time to jump into it. And I feel that's a, that's a kind of good thing. And for those who play on the on the Epic, but maybe had a really like, you know, long pause or they want to wait for the Steam release. Good news is that the saves will be important. So you, uh, when you buy the game on Steam, you will have your uh, your runs saved up and you will be able to continue where you left off. That's kind of cute, right? With release of the Steam version, they, they produce one update going with it, like the patch notes and everything, right? What is new to the game is new gun. So you will be able to use a stake gun and you will be able to pin the enemies to the walls. And But my experience, what I saw from the, from the weapon, it's more like, I don't know, tree tree thrower or something like that those sticks are so huge that they kill the witch in one shot at least by based on how it looks so that's kind of interesting or more things that they added they kind of rebalance how stamina works and how calamity works which is two mechanics that you are using kind of all the time in the game and based again on the small experience that i have with this patch the calamity all felt much better because you you're really worthy of those if you make mistakes if you uh, if you collecting those cursed objects yeah you you got it going for you right the calamity will come and you will need to defend a lot of enemies to be able to to survive that and your sanity sanity bill we will be at stake but I guess you will uh, you will make it out because you need those wild witch fire to upgrade yourself. So yeah, I wish you the best. Also, they added achievements and the new crafting bench in your castle. When you can interact with your uh, items, weapons, spells and upgrade them because there are several tiers that you can upgrade your everything that you you wearing as a prayer and you can unlock more abilities. So now you have specific spot in the castle where all those things can be done. And last but not least, they added Witch Vault into the newly released map, which is like the easiest one, right? They, they started with the middle and they in last patch, they added like the, the starting point of for, for new players or for all those people that will start the game. They will start on the little small island with the big tower, right? I don't want to spoil anything. And in this patch, they added the Witch Vault, which is like the dungeon that you want to go and hunt the first witch, the, the first experience for, for the dungeon delving. So yeah, let's enjoy that one as well. So this is this is the huge day for the Witchfire just because more people will see the game and 
by my opinion, I'm playing the game from the first release on the Epic Game Store and I am really fan of the game. And over the year, over the, the patches that they produce, like that devs put out, I feel the game are getting better. There are a few things that, that were like, I was bummed about, it was not that great. And I feel that they are getting better at those, right? They, they are solving the, the problems and that they're putting better content for us. So I am, I am so excited to see what they will bring in the next one. And that will do it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed this quick update on Witchfire, the new released patch, High Stakes. And also I would love to congratulate on, you know, a release of the Steam version. And hopefully there will be a lot more new players that will come to this game and check it out. Because Mike Franklin said, it's really good. The fluidity to the shooting and the progression of the game is kind of nice. And hopefully they will add just more stuff, right? More guns, more systems to interact with different maps and just more enemies just everything more and i think this game is in just a really good spot but yeah as i said this will do it uh, meantime before i will post another video you can check something else you can check tips and tricks for witchfire that might help you with your start, right? Because uh, you will jump in and do it refresh. Or you can check out Space Marine 2 Rent. And that will do it for today. Hope you enjoyed this one. And I will see you all next time. Peace.